Right, now at this point, um, we're ready to phase the final boss, and what will end the speedrun. Uh, you should still have your iron crossbow, and all you need now is health potions, essentially. Uh, you don't need anything else. Uh, if you were able to get dexterity potions um, from the dragon boss, then use those as well in this fight, it's very useful. You should be level 14, with at least 75 dexterity. But if you've been killing uh, a little bit more enemies, just because you've had to, or you decide to, to get one more level up, you can be level 15. Um, you'll have crossbow expert, Sentry stands on still and evasive maneuver, those haven't changed. And if you're going to use a dexterity potion, uh, I recommend you use it from the beginning of the fight. If you got it from the dragon, um, you'll have two. Um, and those two will last you almost the entire fight. Um, so they're very, very useful. Very, very useful items, um, and it increases your damage, your dexterity damage by like 30%. So what I like to do is get all the crystals fairly weak, um, and and then uh, that that gives me a bit more flexibility to decide when and where I'm going to hit them for the damage phase. So there we go, now I can control that, I'm just going to stay here, and I get nice and close to him, and I want to stand still to activate the standing sentry, um, or the sentry stance, extra damage. And you're pretty much just hoping to get as many multi-strikes as possible. So I like to kind of bait him one way and then quickly go the other way, uh, which allows me to just go straight to the next crystal. These uh, magic attacks that he's doing are very, very powerful and they will uh, pretty much kill you. Uh, his little uh, spin attack, um, it doesn't do that much damage. So you can kind of take quite a few of those, but the magic damage that he does um, will pretty much kill you. So you want to avoid those as much as possible. You want to get multi strikes as, as well, you want to hope for a lot of multi strikes, but that's just random whether you get them or not. So you always want to wait for him to throw all of his magic attacks and then wait for him to get close um, which allows you DPS uh, optimize DPS quicker but also um, basically if you destroy the crystal whilst just before he does the animation for his magic attack um, he'll still throw off the magic attack without the animation um, so if you're not careful you can get easily killed by it So because this one's very far away from the rest of them, uh, I destroy those. And these two are quite close together, so I'll have a little bit more control. Uh, but I don't want to be going too far um, when I want to just get straight to a damage phase. Wait for him to get a little close next time. And we get 
as many multi strikes and hopefully you get a lot. So it should be about two more phases. all I'm trying to do is get it to the stage where um, I can um, uh, destroy the crystals um, whilst he's doing the spin animation. Um, I do not want him to do the other animation at all. It's really, really dangerous. Um, and because he's so close to death, at this point I would uh, kill the crystals as soon as possible. We'll let him come close, and then I'll go around him. So the crystals actually take off a little bit of health um, every time you destroy one. So he'll lose health as time goes on. Or well, as each crystal gets destroyed, he'll lose health. There we go. And now it should be. There we go. And that's um, that's the speed run. And all you do now is wait for this pop up, and then head back to the menu. And you need to check the in-game time uh, to see your um, speed run time. There we go, one hour seven. It's a pretty good time. Um, and uh, I, for this category, you need to um, record your runs. You can't just send a screenshot. You have to record your final run and your final time, and then submit those um, to get it verified. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Uh, I really hope this has uh, helped, especially if you um, are thinking about running this category and you think you, you know you need some information to help you get started. Hopefully, this has been the kind of tutorial that's helped you uh, understand how it's done. Uh, obviously, this is not a definitive there might be some new strats or some new things that will come along in the future uh, you may also um, find something or do something that makes us even faster uh, which is great uh, the more people in the community the better uh, don't forget to join the discord um, the speedrunning community uh, the poor knights uh, speedrunning community discord um, just for there for like strats and guides and then on speedrun.com There'll be more information there to help you um, in your speedrunning journey. Uh, thanks for watching. I've been Nev. See you later.